Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, made in partnership with AllFreeSewing.com, we'll sew a lined rolling cart liner, perfect to haul groceries or laundry. First you want to measure your cart. When cutting your fabric, make sure to add one half an inch for your quarter inch seam allowances. The cart used in this tutorial's dimensions are front and back panels, 15 by 20, cut two in both your inside and outside fabric. Side panels are 12 by 20. Again, cut two in both inside and outside fabric. The bottom measures 15 by 12. You want to cut one in your inside fabric, one in the outside fabric, and one in a heavy weight fusible interface. You'll need six ties. These ties should measure 2 inches wide by 12 inches long. They can be longer if you want to tie bows. Also, you can opt to use ready-made cord, rope, or strong ribbon and skip this step. Take your bottom piece of fabric and your heavy interfacing, fusible interfacing, Put wrong sides together with the shiny side down or follow your manufacturer's recommendations and you want to fuse the interfacing to the bottom piece. Now we're going to take the bottom which has been fused and we're going to line up the side pieces. So we have the two 15 by 20 side pieces and we're going to line them up right sides together and we're going to sew that way. Then we're going to line the other 15 inch piece up again the same way, right sides together and we're going to sew and then you're going to do the same thing with the 12 inch sides. And now the sewing is complete and you can see where we've sewn the 15 inch panels and the 12 inch panels. Now that they're sewn, what you want to do is match up the sides right sides together and you want to sew all the way along those sides and make sure you do a little tack double stitch at the bottom corner to make sure it's secure. And when you're done, it should just look like this, a big bag. And you want to repeat with your lining. Remember when sewing the inside lining to be sure to leave an opening on one of the long seams so that you can turn your work. Once you have the inside and outside of your uh, liner complete, we want to start on the ties. So you want to take your tie, you want to fold it towards the center, press, fold the other side towards the center, press, then we're going to fold it in half, press, and then I'm going to sew, stitch along the length of it. When you're placing your ties inside, you want to make sure that they're folded in half. And this is the part, the folded part is what is at the top. Once our straps are done, you want to put your inside to the outside, right sides together. And even if you're using the vinyl like I am, you will have a right side and wrong side because of your seams. We want to put them together, line them up, and we're going to put a tie inside at each corner. You want to match up your seams with your tie 
and then pin, catching that tie in there. And then you also want to put a tie halfway on your uh, long side, your 15 inch side. So you want to continue that and then you want to sew all along the top, sew it shut. To the machine and I'm going to top stitch along this outside, this uh, inside seam here and close this up. You can also top stitch along the outer edge. Then all you need to do is place it in your cart, tie it with either a bow or a knot at the different places that you put your ties, and you're all set.